Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Alexander, what you bringing out, brother, is absolutely dynamic. I seen this, this gentleman right here. I seen you were watching, and you came up, and it looked like you wanted to say something. You disagree with what he's saying? No. no? So you agree the Christian church is the house of Satan? I'm just listening. Do you agree? I'm asking, do you agree? I don't have a position on it. You don't have a position? So how do you, what's your position on child of Are you against it or for it? I would say I'm against that. You would say, I would hope you would say so. Are you aware of what he just said? The Catholic Church has had 400 documents, 400,000 documented cases of child molest. Do you support the Catholic Church? I don't support that. Do you, do you support the Catholic Church? I don't support that. When you say that, what is that? I don't. I don't. You stumbling around. What's, what's wrong? You a Catholic? You said what? I'm not a child. You're not a child. Man. Well, we'll see, because you had a hard time condemning the Catholic Church. And the Catholic Church are child. Catholic. Yeah, he's Catholic. Yeah, he's Catholic. He's Catholic. He, yeah, that's what I think it is too, brother. Where are you from? You from here? No. No? What's your nationality? Uh, I'm American. You're American. Hispanic American, European American, Asian American. What do you think? It's not about what I think. What are you? Well, you're telling me what you think about everything else. No, we're telling you what God says about everything else. That's the difference. Don't get it confused. We're telling you what God says in the Bible for the first time in your life. And God is against that Catholic church, that filthy whorehouse That's full right. of pedophiles, child molesters, sexual deviants, freaks, and weirdos. Right. God is against the Catholic church. God is against the Christian church. And anybody who cannot outwardly say they are against an organization that molests children, you too are a child right. You too are the problem. How could you not outwardly say, I'm against an organization that molests children? How could you not openly say that? You know why? Because the Christian and Catholic church breeds. It breeds sinners. It breeds people that turn a blind eye to crimes. That turn a blind eye to the things that happen. You think God is with the Catholic Church? God is going to destroy those Catholics. Right. God is going to destroy those Christians, man, because they are the main ones that are against him. They are against God. When you open this Bible, you find out that the Christian church and the Catholic Church do nothing that the Bible says. They created their own entire doctrine and they use their religion to oppress black people, to oppress Hispanics, to oppress Native Americans. And you think God is with your funky religion. You out your goddamn mind. And that's why we should never join their religions. You understand? Because they can't condemn what's right, excuse me, what's wrong. They can't tell you what's right and wrong. That's a problem, man. At what point in life did we get where we can't speak out about what's simply right and wrong? We're in a bad place. Thank you, sister. Grab a fly if you could, sis. We are in a bad place that we can't say what's right and wrong. It's wrong to children, white man. I don't know if anybody told you this. It's wrong to touch children. I don't care if you're the pope. I don't care if you're a bishop. I don't care if you're a cardinal. Whatever weird positions y'all got in that filthy Catholic church, it is wrong to molest children, and nobody has called you out on it. You sit in them churches comfortable while you destroy lives. You sit in that church comfortable while you destroy our community. You want to know why these black men and Hispanic men are murdered? They are because they were murdered. And nobody cared about their trauma. They did not get justice. So guess what? 
They're going to get justice on their own, and I don't blame them. If you a brother or sister out there, you can let me help you. You ain't got to get your own justice, man. You will come in here and become somebody that was never molested. You will come in here and become somebody that was never violated. And you could come up here and protect our brothers and sisters from being violated. That's right. You understand? Because the Christian church ain't going to do The Christian church knows children are being and Nobody speaks up. Nobody says anything. They tell you to come sit down at the Thanksgiving dinner with your child. Right. Meaning if you go and have Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, Sunday dinner, sitting right across the damn table from the person that molested and you're supposed to act like everything is okay and everything is normal and everybody knows your mother, your grandmother, your aunts, everybody knows this is a child family and nobody speaks up I think you a hypocrite you can't open your mouth against Diddy when you got Diddy's in your family you ain't willing to talk about you got R. Kelly's in your family you ain't willing to talk about and we gonna tell the truth, let's tell the whole truth our community is destroyed because we follow after the white man's religion. Thank you, sister. Our community is destroyed because we follow after the white man's culture. It is not our culture to m children. That ain't our culture, man. Black and Hispanic culture is to protect children. That's our culture according to the Bible. But you know why there's so much child molestation in our communities? Because we too busy wanting to be like our oppressor. We too busy wanting to be like who he is. And we think his way of life is better than God's way of life for us. You're going to find out in just a second. All these crimes and sins you committing in the dark, it's coming to light. This one thing you better learn about P. Diddy and the rest of these celebrities. He's not the only one that's going to be found out. You think you're going to be able to commit those sins you committing behind closed doors and anybody else going to find out? If you are a child molester, you will be exposed. That's right. You will be exposed. If you are doing things in the dark and you think anybody gonna find out, P. Diddy got the same thing. And he got way more money than you. He got power and connections to make sure things don't get exposed. And guess what? It still got exposed. You know why? Because God is bringing it to light. You better not be P. Diddy. If you are doing things in the dark that God says not to do, stop today. You better stop today. And you better make it right. You better make it right. And the way you make it right is you dedicate your life to doing the opposite of what you've been doing. That's, right. That's how you make it right. Brothers back here used to sell drugs. Guess what? Brothers have dedicated their lives to making sure that never happens. You understand? Brothers back here used to harm our own people. And brothers back here now make sure that we protect our people. Everything that you do in the world, it is your job to come in the truth of the Lord and change. It's your job to change and to make right what you have done. If you have sowed destruction in our community, now you have to come and sow peace in the community. Now you've got to come and bring families together. If you're somebody that slept with another man's woman, you got to stop that. And now you've got to make families. Now you've got to protect families. If you were someone that destroyed children and women, now you got to come back here and protect children and protect women. Right. You got to change. That church ain't telling you how to change. They telling you God loves you while you're a filthy child. Right. I don't know what, what, what type of nonsense y'all teaching. The God of the Bible hates sinners. Right. The God of the Bible is not with child. Right. You think you're going to go to heaven with the child right. and y'all going to be there together. Right. Now nah, you ain't going to turn the kingdom of heaven into your Thanksgiving dinner. Right. That's what you won't do. You understand? Rick, let me show you in the Bible. God hates sinners. You understand? Get Ecclesiasticus 12 and 6. Because the church will tell you what? That God loves you just the way you are. That is not true. That is not true. I know it feels good to tell yourself that while you're a filthy sinner, while you're selling drugs and getting high and children and lying and, lying and stealing, and you believe that God loves you and all that filth. That's not true. Right. And that's why nobody goes to the church and actually changes. Right. Because they're not telling you the first step to change is to admit what you are. Right. If you go to rehab right now, what's the first thing they tell you you got to admit? That you have a problem. You got to go with Alcoholics Anonymous and stand up and say, Hi, I'm Jamal and I'm an alcoholic. 
That's the first step to change it, is admitting that you are in fact somebody that is wrong and the things that you do is wrong. The church will tell you that you can live a lifestyle that's against God and somehow God still loves you. That don't even make sense. Read what you got. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 6. For the most high. For who? The most high. The most high. This is talking about God. This ain't talking about our opinion. Everybody claims to love God. Everybody claims to follow God. America says, God bless America. White people love to say America was founded on the principles of God. America has nothing to do with the God of the Bible. Right. You understand? This is what the Bible says. Who? For the most high, hate him. The most high God does what? Hate him. Spell that word. H-A-T-E-T-H. -E it says the God of the Bible hates. You understand? Now hold on. The Christian church taught us that God is all love. Right. The church taught us that God does not hate, that God is all love. And we read in the Bible that God is not all love. God, in fact, does hate. I know that's breaking your Christian heart, your Catholic heart, because you want to continue to molest children and think that God loves you. You want to continue to destroy families and think that God loves you. You want to continue to sell drugs and steal and commit adultery and think that God loves you. Who does God hate? For the most high, hate him, sinner. For the most high, hate him, who? Sinner. Sinners. You cannot go against God and believe that God loves you. You cannot be a Democrat or Republican and vote and think that God loves you. You didn't even know it was a sin to vote. The Christian church has failed. This is how you know the church is the house of Satan. Because in the black and Hispanic community, who are the main ones advocating for us to vote? The religious leaders, the churches. The churches are the ones that get black people to vote. It's been like that since the 60s. That Democrats have always used the religious leaders in the black and Hispanic community to get us to vote. If the church was the place of God, they will open up the goddamn Bible and tell you that God says not to vote. It's a sin to vote. Do you think Jesus Christ voted for the Romans? Christ didn't vote. Christ was against the Roman Empire. A vote got him killed. But you don't care about the Bible. I don't care if you're going to do what you want to do. But don't try to lie and think that God loves you while you're doing it. Don't lie to yourself. You want to be a hoe? Go be a hoe. But just know God hates you while you're hoeing. If you want to be a child, go my children and find and find out what's gonna happen to you. Just know God hates you. You want to sell drugs and get high? Go do it. But just know God hates you while you're doing it. Don't try to use the Bible as an excuse to keep living your filthy lifestyle and think that somehow God is okay with that. That's not righteous, man. That doesn't make sense. What would be the purpose of having the Bible if He's just okay with everybody doing everything? You know how stupid that is? You don't even allow everybody to do everything. The moment somebody lie to you or mistreat you, I'm cutting them off. I'm done with them. You see, and, and even in your simplicity, you understand boundaries. Even in your foolishness, you understand that there are boundaries. There are certain things that I just can't tolerate. I just can't put up with. But, but God is supposed to be soft. God is supposed to allow anything and everything. You out your mind. This is what God says. Read it again. For the Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 6. For the most high, hate him, sinners. Keep reading. And will repay vengeance. And will do what? Repay vengeance. See, you don't understand the God of the Bible. You go into that church and you think everything is love and kisses and hugs. And that's why everybody in there is soft. All the men in the church is just effeminate and when the men of the Bible weren't soft men, they weren't men. You read about the prophets, it tell you how the towns were scared when the prophets came to the towns. Because these weren't choir boys. These weren't men that pranced and danced like Kirk Franklin. These weren't men that twerked like T.D. Jakes and Bishop Nathaniel. These were men that demanded respect because they did what God said. And they were scared of these men because they did not tolerate anything that went against God. Your Christian pastor, your deacon, these men in the churches are not the men of the Bible.
Yeah. Babylon is falling. In the bullshit, that lying nigga in the pulpit. Same shit, but a different day. 